Hello dear friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Deborah, the creator and designer here at Cottage to Courtyard and I thank you so much for dropping by to see me. I hope you're all doing great. I have a lot to cover in our video today so if you don't mind let's just jump in and get right to it. Okay, first on the agenda is the large mirror above my buffet that you're seeing there on the wall, which we purchased last year at an estate sale for a fabulous price of $87.50. And at that time, I decided that I'd like to keep it as it is in the original finish and not paint it. And I know many of you are going to gasp, but I'm going to go ahead and paint it. I've enjoyed it in its original finish, but now I'm, I'm really ready for a change. So I've kind of been toying with different finishes and paints, and I'll show you some of them. Actually, there's four that I really like for different reasons, and you can let me know which one you think looks best, okay? Just leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Here is finish number one. The color is really similar to my buffet, which happens to be duck egg blue. So I would just paint the mirror in the duck egg blue and accent it with gold, off-white, and maybe a little antiquing wax to mimic, the, mimic this look. Number two that you're seeing here is very soft and pretty in shades of white, off-white, and gold with a little antiquing wax. I just really like this softened look. Sometimes it's so And how grand is this look in shades of antique gold? I love this one. It's a little bit more formal than I want to do, but it is gorgeous. Okay, guys, this next one coming up is probably going to shock you a little bit in style number four. It's very different, and I really love the rusty goodness in the finish. If I did this look, I'd use the duck egg blue paint with the other rusty colors on it. I just really find it very interesting. So please leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Okay friends, now I'm going to show you this beautiful $15 thrifted treasure from Goodwill that I purchased a couple of months back. I absolutely love it and I know you guys have probably seen this very same painting or print around in antique stores etc. I loved it but not that frame and so I removed the frame from the art and then donated it back. And here it is without the frame. It is actually 23 inches by 36 inches so it's a really good size and I'll be on the hunt for a more ornate frame for it. but. In the meantime, I really don't mind using it without a frame. It's just so gorgeous and romantic, isn't it? So since we are in winter mode right now and the weather can be a little dismal, we could all use some cherry nut from time to time. So I thought I'd sort of use this painting as my inspiration for putting together a romantic pre-Valentine's Day look. Now, I'm not decorating the buffet top here with this. I'm just showing you all how to pull colors and mood pieces from the inspiration piece to complement it and tell a story and give you ideas on choosing things from your stash that you can complement your decor with in creating a beautiful tableau for your spaces. You know, you guys, this is really easy to do. First, you just need to look to the painting or art piece for your color cues and what you'd like to bring out. Adding shades of blue, pinks, golds, and a rustic touch with the ivy pot, the birds, the books, etc., and romantic things like beautiful candlesticks, a teapot, some dried roses, and an old lace napkin with a transferware cup and saucer. Things that bring comfort and beauty. If these things don't brighten one's day and chase away the blahs, I don't know what will.
And here's a second look, but this time with more of a nod to Valentine's Day with the cherubs, the cranberry wine goblets, a small gold frame, some antique jewelry pieces scattered about for my grandmother, as well as her old reading glasses there on top of the book. And when we think of Valentine's Day, we think of a romantic time with our sweethearts, maybe sipping some wine along with receiving some beautiful roses and maybe even a beautiful gift of jewelry. Say, take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me. friends I pretty much cleared the top of the buffet because now I have some fun things that I want to show you that I've made this week with Valentine's Day in mind of course but they can certainly be used year-round for a romantic touch anywhere first is this sweet vintage at heart lumbar pillow that I've done in soft pink and cream toile with bits of antique lace bows beads and ruffles it's available if you're interested you can just leave me a comment below and we'll go from there next pillow I'm going to show you is already sold but I wanted to show it to you anyway this gorgeous be still my heart pillow that I did is in red and cream toile with bits of antique lace bows and beads and this video just doesn't do it justice there's so much detail and with those exaggerated bows there on each side there it's just too cute it's very neutral really and the soft red is just enough color to make it interesting and very romantic And here's one more of my creations that I made for myself this week to hang on the hooks below my fireplace mantel shelf. Isn't it sweet? I just love the neutral hearts and they add such a sweet soft touch to this area, don't they? 
All right, dear friends, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe found a little inspiration for creating a new look or a color story for your home. Thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I'll be back again soon for more fun decorating here on Cottage to Courtyard. Until then, you all take care. Bye-bye.